Hey everybody, welcome to episode 2 of the Real Talk Central podcast. Sorry for the mic quality, I was having some static issues in this recording. Uh, I'm going to be figuring it out for the next episode. Um, let's roll the podcast. Hey everybody, and welcome to the new episode of Real Talk Central Podcast. This is the show where I sit in my college dorm and I talk. So, I was thinking about the topic that I want to do for this week's episode. Um, I'm going to be trying to do these every single weekend, by the way. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are going to be uh, some times where um, I'm not going to be able to get a new episode out for you guys. Because, um, as you guys know, I'm going to have a busy summer. Uh, even though my focus on weekends is mainly YouTube, like still, I, I still I'm gonna have a lot of stuff going on, and also I still want to film other videos for the channel as well. But oh wait, hold on, let me turn down the volume of my video game over. There. I'm playing Minecraft right now, and the music just started playing, so just didn't want that in the background. Although the Minecraft music is very soothing, but um. So, for today's episode, I'm going to be talking about my first year in college, because today was the last day of school, and um, yeah, it might seem a little bit late, actually very late, but um, my school goes on a trimester system, so that means that we started school super late and ended it super late. Uh, luckily, next year, we are making a switch over to semesters, so we're going to be on the same schedule for the most part, with other schools. Unfortunately for us, though, this specific summer right now is going to be super short because we're making that transition. But the main thing that I wanted to talk about, like along with the, my first year of college being done, is the saying of, you don't know what you have until it's gone. And the reason I'm, I'm thinking that right now is because... I have had an amazing year in college. I have, when I was a senior in high school, I looked forward to this so much. And when I was, uh, when I got here, I, I was excited at first. But then, you know, once I got used to it, it uh, sort of like died down. Like uh, I, I got used to it, you know, because it was just a lifestyle, you know, doing it every single day. It just became the norm. So I was like, all right, you know, I'm still here. I still love the school. I'm just going to do everything um, that I will enjoy. And it was amazing. But I got used to it, you know, that's I feel like that's a huge thing about, you know, looking forward to something. You look forward to something for so long and you like count down the days until it's going to come like the, the last the last month or if not the whole entire summer before I went to college. I, I was waiting so, so long. I was like, man, college, college, college. I cannot wait. And then once I got there, I was super excited. I was like, all right. You know, it's finally happening. North Central College, the place I've like been looking at for like three years now, I'm finally here. And then once I started to like get busy with like marching band and theater and other things, you know, it, it just it just became a normal thing. And I was like, OK, you know, um, yeah, it was it was still exciting, you know, going to rehearsals every single day. But, you know, it, it just became like the same old, same old. And of course, like I something different happened every day. I never knew what was going to happen. But you you know what I mean? Like, like because because I was looking forward to it for a long time, and then once I got it, after a little while, you know, like, it's just, yeah, it's, it's just there. But I still enjoyed it, like, all throughout. Oh, you know, of course, there were some, like, stressful times, especially this last term. Honestly, that's only because I took a math class this term. That's not my forte. But I... What what mainly the thing that I enjoyed the most was the community that was uh, built up in my first year of of college, you know, and all the new friends that I made. You know, I made a lot of I made a lot of new friends through marching band. I made new f a lot of new friends through the the normal concert band season, um, as well as choir and theater, especially. Uh, but the the main place where I made um, a lot of friends, which was, uh, I think, the most memorable one, is the people on my floor. So, I I live I lived in the door. Actually, I still live there because I haven't moved out yet. But I, I'm getting to that later. Why I'm not moved out? Because everyone else did, but I'm not. But I'll, I'll get I'll get to that. I'm getting ahead of myself. But 
so yeah the community that i built in my uh that we built together uh not just me obviously was just it was just something else you know i i enjoyed it and be because what was cool is that you know obviously i made friends at band rehearsals and at choir and theater but the thing is that like after we were done with those rehearsals we like went our separate ways and we went to our separate dorms but as for the people living on my floor we always like I guess saw each other and came back to each other at the end of every single day and that's the people who I saw the most you know because I I lived with them Um, by the way I I actually did not have a roommate this year Um, my roommate actually uh, he was he was here for the first term, so you know trimesters. There's uh, there's three of them. Uh, there's what fall, winter, and spring term, and he was only here for uh, for what like fall term, and then he moved out at the beginning of winter. And luckily for me, I got a single dorm for the rest of the year, so that was pretty cool. And then um, so that caused me to e uh, to make like, friendships even more with the people on my floor so I can, you know, have people to spend time with. Um, even if I had my roommate, I still would have, like, um, expanded and, like, made friends with people on my floor, you know, because of, of course I would, you know, they're, they're close to me. But what, I feel like what we had, this entire group was special because, like, every single one of my friends, whenever they would talk about their, their dorm hallways, they would always say how much they hated it, how, like, like, oh my gosh, like, the people on my floor are so loud, they're very annoying, they're always texting the group chat, asking for weird stuff, and, and, but, like, I felt like I could not relate at all, and the people on my, on my floor, said that too like yeah i feel like everyone like all the other floors are like like terrible to each other and no one likes each other but like we actually knew each other like i knew everyone on my well they, they were they were like like two or three people i didn't know but they were never here anyways because they i don't know like went home every weekend or whatever but as f- like the main squad uh if you follow my my instagram 18 jason m um i posted a picture a couple well a couple of days ago by the time you're seeing it but i posted it today when i'm recording this and so those are the people that that i made friends with this year and which by the way if you are not following my instagram uh please do so like i said 18 jason m as well as real talk central podcast because uh you guys could ask questions and get some insights and leave suggestions for the next episode but anyways, you know, what we had was special because, I don't know, we, we, we were just, like, just chill with each other, you know? Like, like let's say we were just um, all, like, hanging out in someone's room, uh, and then someone said, like, hey, do you guys want to go eat? And we're like, yeah, sure. And then we, we go out, we go to the dining area, we, we eat, we come back, you know, we, we play video games, we watch TV shows together. Um, and not only that, not only just spending time with each other, but just being in the presence of each other was was fun, you know, because we were we were literally we would just be in the in our separate rooms and just like chill with all of our doors open. And we would like talk to each other, you know, we, we would be doing our separate things like I'd be playing video games. They'd be playing video games. But we would like talk to each other from across the hallway being like, like, hey, what are you playing right now? Oh, I'm playing this. What are you playing? You know, so stuff like that. And then. um, Even. Even stuff like like going across my friend's room to ask for help on like like math homework or something, and you'd be able to help me. You know, even stuff like as small as that, it's not that much. But but you know, like just living with these people is like super fun. And um, we got to the point we we got super close to the point where like we kept each other's like we all kept our doors unlocked and um we would just like go into each other's rooms and barge in being like hey guys i'm here what you guys doing right now and it's like oh you know i'm just chilling and sometimes i'd be playing like, video games with my with my uh door closed or i'd be just chilling in my bed scrolling through social media and they'd come in i would just look up from my phone and look right back and be like oh what's up how you doing and you know so we were all basically we were roommates. We weren't even floor mates. We were roommates that just shared an entire common space that just so happened to be like divided by walls and a door. <laughs> like that's that's the community that we had, and it was it was kind of sad because today, um, everyone on my floor moved out, um, and well the re- the reason I'm staying is because you know like I said I'm in the last episode I'm staying here for summer housing, 
So uh, I, I'm staying here for a little bit longer until I transfer over to, to my new suite apartment, uh, which I'm going to be vlogging that day. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, also, if you have not subscribed, uh, be sure to subscribe down below and hit post notifications. But yeah, <clears throat> when everyone was moving out today, you know, I was like uh, helping them like move all their stuff down to their to their cars and everything. And then uh, my friend Chris, like we we loaded his Jeep Wrangler up and we were trying to fit everything in. And then then he um, he's like, yeah, I got a long drive ahead of me. Uh, he he, I think he what is it like maybe 30, 45 minutes away from here. <gasps> Excuse me. I feel like I burp. I'm going to burp in every episode. I <laughs> just watch. Um, but I don't know, like, and then when we were saying bye to, to each other, um, the last, the last hour where we all had that moment together, we all just stayed in the same room and we, it's funny. Cause like in that hour we weren't, we were barely even talking. We were just all chilling on our phones, but we were like still like in the presence of each other, which was no different than what we did all year. Like, I mean, obviously we talked, but, um, but it was just special because we just did what we did throughout the whole year. Like this last hour that we spent with each other, we didn't purposely make it any more special. But we just did what we always did. And be, I mean, we, we knew that like that was the last time. But, you know, it, it was just it was just nice to share that moment, even though it wasn't any different. Just knowing that it was the last time. That was nice. And. Um, there's only one other person who is, uh, staying on, staying a little bit longer, and, um, that is Sophie, who lives down the hallway, uh, the reason she's staying is because, it's because, uh, we have graduation band for all the graduating seniors, and that, that's actually going to be happening Saturday, so she's staying, um, uh, me and her are staying both for that reason, for graduation band, and then she's going home. But then I'm staying. I'm going to be the only person left on, on this floor. I'm going to be here longer than my RA because I'm staying for the summer. But, um, so the reason I said at the beginning of this episode, you don't know what you have until it's gone, is about, um, like, right before I started recording this episode. This was spontaneous, by the way, you know, because it just suddenly hit me what's going on, is um, I went to the bathroom uh, you know, because uh, it's communal, communal bathrooms, and I, I walked down the hall, you know, I went to the bathroom, did my business, and then I walked back, and then as I was looking around, I saw all of, like, the empty doors, you know, because you know how RAs, like, throughout the year, they, like, decorate your door, they put new stuff on it, well, I was, I'm the only person that still has stuff on my door, because I'm the only person here, and I was looking at all of, like, all the empty doors that had nothing on it, and the only thing that was on it was, um, the checkout, confirmation that people yes like yes this person has gone home for the summer they're out and and i also saw all the empty hallways that like because there are no more school events going on there's no like upcoming things to look forward to there's no like calendars or stuff like that all the all the walls are blank in the hallways and it was just so quiet you know usually when you walk through the hallway um, you could like like hear people's like voices from inside the room I don't know, you could hear them like playing music or whatever and usually what I do, what I did when everyone else was here was that like, as I was walking through the hallways, I like peek my head in the room be like, hey, what's up guys? What you doing? Like, uh, uh, not much. And then like, uh, I would, I would sit down like, uh, the little futon that they had in the room and we would just all be there. Cause like most, like 90% of the time, whenever I went in the room, like one of my friend's rooms, more friends were there. You know, so like we all, I guess that that's, that was just sort of like a schedule that we did like subconsciously that we never actually initiated. We just, we just hung out with each other without actually saying it, without like saying like, Hey, you want to hang out? No, we, we just did it. And somehow we all just always ended up in the same room. And I don't know, just walking back to my, to my room after using the bathroom and seeing this empty hallway and seeing all these like, like empty doors, it was just sad. You know, because because I that's when it hit me. That's when I realized, well, like I'm not like it, just like that. It's over. You know, of course, like I knew that it was coming, but I, I didn't think anything of it. But once I see it in front of my face, that's that's when it hits me. And, you know, I, I guess that's just that's just what life is all about. 
because you really don't know what you have until it's gone. Whether it be someone in your life, whether it be what you have going on in life, whether it be like, like a job or a pet or whatever, whatever it might be. Um, I felt like, I felt like it felt, it felt different right now than it did at the end of senior year because I recorded my entire life for nine months, um, for my, what, uh, my series documentary. So I, I kind of anticipated it ending and I knew that I was going to have to make an adjustment being like, like, wow, yeah, I'm out of the school. I'm graduating from high school. It's, it's done, you know, but like, I kind of knew it was coming because I decided to record myself throughout the years or I mean, throughout the, throughout the school year. And I don't know, sometimes I wish that I didn't record that series. You know, sometimes I wish that I lived in the moment. Um, but of course, it's always like fun to look back at those memories. Um, I haven't watched it in a while. But, it, you know, I did it because I wanted to reflect at the end of the year. But I didn't do it this year um, for that exact same reason, because I wanted to live in the moment. You know, I'm off in college. I'm starting a new chapter in my life. I just want to live in the moment. So that's what I did. And wow, is it? <laughs> let me tell you. Because I didn't document everything, it is much harder to say goodbye to it. <laughs> because I, like, all I have is the memories in my head. Because with senior year, I was able to actually literally look at footage of it and see it in front of my face. But as for right now, I just have it in my head. And and I'll never be able to see it again. <laughs> and, you know, of course, like, the school is always going to be here. I'm always going to be, like, going to the school until I graduate. But as for, like, the same exact group of people, like, all living in the same hallway, I'm never, I'm never going to get that again, you know? O only the memory is going to be there. Like, I'm never going to be able to, like, peek my head in the room and or just, like, barge in. And, and we're never going to be able to chill, you know, just talk over a nice Mountain Dew. We're never going to be able to do that again. And of course, you know, we could like meet up with each other next year. But, you know, like um, people are living in different buildings or people are not in the same hallway. And we're just not it's we, we won't have the convenience of being all like in the same area ever again. And especially with like all my other friends complaining about how like terrible their floor is. I... I um I know that I'm never gonna get something like this like again like something this good, like the community on this third floor of my dorm, you know? Cause like for all I know I'm pro I, like I might end up like n really disliking my floor mates next year, um especially when I compare it to like such great things that I had this year for my dorm. And so that really just goes to show you don't know what you have until it's gone. Um, I, I sent, as I was on my way back to the bath, uh, from the bathroom, I took a picture on Snap and I sent it to like the, the group chat that me and my friends had being like, yeah, yeah. Like it's so quiet here and it's so lonely. I miss you guys already. You know, it, it's going to be sad. You know, it, it is sad actually. Yeah. That, uh, that we're, we're not going to get this again, but so to end it on a positive note, even though you don't know what you have until it's gone, what's also true is that you shouldn't cry because it's over. You know the end of the sentence. Smile because it happened. <laughs> Alright, so um, yeah, uh, I guess that, that does it for today's podcast. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed listening to it. Um, uh, I, I had a good time recording it. Thank you guys so much for watching, or listening in this case. Um, like I said, Instagram, my personal Instagram is 18JasonM. The podcast Instagram is Real Talk Podcast. Um, and the profile picture is, you know, like I said, the same thing you see on the screen. Uh, subscribe down below, turn on post notifications, leave a comment. So yeah, I will see you guys in the car. Thank you.